the main body of an essay. To write a good essay, the essay must be well organized in a logical and coherent manner. The presentations of the main body of an essay must flow leading to the main events in the essay be it to instruct or advise. The most effective tool to achieve this is paragraphing. To write a good and flowing essay, we must have full understanding of a paragraph. Paragraphing skills. What is a paragraph? Most students understand paragraph to be the gaps we leave in between essays to make each point different from one another to achieve proper organizations and presentations. Well, if you have this notion you have done well. A paragraph of an essay is part of an essay or mini-essay with one central theme or topic. In other words a paragraph is a series of sentences that explains only one point. This means a paragraph should talk about only a point or idea. In a broader sense, a paragraph can be a whole book. Examples are, the Bible, science book, story book, and many more. They are paragraphs because they talk about one point. Strictly speaking, we are dealing with point paragraphs which concentrate on the development of points to form essay. Meaning of paragraph. A paragraph is a group of related sentences which develop a main idea called topic sentence or controlling idea. Paragraph has three main parts, an introduction, the body of a paragraph and the conclusion. It has the topic sentence, a few supporting sentences and a conclusion. For us to understand and write a good paragraph, we must know the features of a good paragraph which will be a guide for us to write an essay. Features of a good paragraph. For us to understand and write paragraphs in a well-organized manner, we need to understand the features of a good paragraph. The features of a good paragraph are, paragraph unity, paragraph coherency, paragraph completeness, and paragraph consistency. We are going into the details of the various features of a good paragraph. Paragraph unity. A paragraph unity means the entire paragraph focuses or throws light to a single idea or point. The details of the point are made clear by supporting the point with comprehensive claims. What we have to learn here is that, the sentences in a paragraph must be in unity or one to explain the point of the paragraph. No single sentence should state something different in explaining the point. They must agree to explain the point of the paragraph fully. The next feature is paragraph coherency. Let us start. Paragraph coherency. A coherency in a paragraph means a flow of thoughts and ideas among the sentences in the paragraph. This means that all sentences in a paragraph must explain the preceding sentences. To achieve this, good transitions are used. These make the presentations of the explanation of the point logically, orderly, and chronologically. Paragraph completeness. The completeness of a paragraph means that the supporting details of the topic sentence must explain into details. The explanation must lead to the end of the events in the paragraph as demanded by the question of the essay. A paragraph is not a talk show where listeners are left in a suspense to entice them to arouse their interest for the preceding week's show. A paragraph creates a problem, explains in full the details of the problem with charts and statistics leading to the effects of the problem and provides a solution. It is the matter of creating and destroying. Paragraph consistency. A paragraph is said to be consistent when the topic sentence and the whole details of the development of the topic sentence agree together. That is, the developer explains the full details of the topic sentence without deviating to any other point. Paragraph transitions. Transitional words or phrases order time, cause or order relation of the ideas in a paragraph. 
These show the reader that, the course of the events in paragraphs or essays are changing. They can be useful at the beginning, at the middle and the end of a paragraph to shift in direction to achieve coherency. They are chains joining the various paragraphs to form one essay. Some basic transitions. For raising the first point, first of all, firstly, in the first place, to begin with, and more. For additional points, also, in addition, besides, moreover, equally important, furthermore, not only that but, and many more. For the last point, finally, lastly, last, and more. Conclusion, to crown it all, to conclude, in conclusion, in the nutshell, and the likes. For comparison, in the same way, likewise, similarly, and more. Concession, granted, naturally, of course, and many more. For contrast or differences, although, at the same time, however, in contrast, in spite of, instead, nevertheless, notwithstanding, on the contrary, on the other hand, otherwise. Emphasis, certainly, indeed, in fact, of course, and the likes. For showing example, for example, for instance, in fact, namely, to illustrate and more. Time sequence, after a while, afterward, again, also, at last, at that time, next, shortly, soon, while, thereafter, eventually, besides, before, no sooner than, not long after, immediately, immediately after, and more. Result, as a result, the result is that, and the likes.